former submariner and former senator, Rex Patrick. Rex, great to see you. What's your analysis of what Peter Dutton's saying here? He's first of all saying that the British companies don't have the capacity to, to roll out our subs as needed on time, and also that it's a new design, therefore are there are risks inherent in that too. What's your read on his, his yeah. assessment? Yeah, look, I'll start off by saying I believe going down the pathway of, new, uh, of a nuclear submarine is flawed only from the perspective is that whichever choices uh, we make, we end up with a submarine uh, in 2040. That's a bit like getting the best football team after the grand final's been played. It's a $170 billion program. But uh, noting there is uh, going to be uh, a, a nuclear submarine in the Royal Australian Navy, I think Peter Dutton is right in terms of his assessment. If you look at things from a capability perspective, uh, we have on our Collins class submarines the US AMBYG-1 combat system, uh, so there's an affinity already with Australian operations. Uh, there are more than 50 boats uh, in, uh, being planned for, for the Virginia class submarines uh, as opposed to seven uh, for the astute uh, class submarines, the British boats, and that means uh, there's this, this production line and there are upgrades continuously happening to, ha happening to the US boats. Look, both uh, countries will have issues with capacity. The United States has been pretty upfront about that. Uh, the United Kingdom, they're building their dreadnought uh, ballistic uh, nuclear submarines uh, and also embarking on the SSNR, which is their new uh, submarine design. They've been plagued in the UK, and this is not a secret. So the National Audit Office in the UK has uh, examined uh, their astute class program. It's been uh, over cost. It's uh, had uh, it's had uh, schedule overruns uh, a couple of years on each of the boats, and uh, indeed uh, their audit office talks about some of their capacity problems. I suspect uh, uh, Peter Dutton is right, uh, but I also suspect the politics involved in this are one where. Uh, Mr Dutton can't walk away from the nuclear decision. Uh, he's creating a point of differentia uh, differentiation. Uh, we know this program will be uh, late, whichever, in fact, whichever way it goes, yeah. th there's going to be delays. Uh, and this will ena enable him to move forward saying, well, look, I told you to go with the American option uh, and you chose not to. What, what if the, the British option were to be able to give us some British-made... Uh, boats before our locally made boats are up and running? Well, there might be an option to have uh, one of the, the astutes that are coming off the production line uh, made available to Australia, but there's so much that needs to be done in terms of support. Oh, yeah, one of the issues uh, that we currently have is there is no uh, nuclear safety regime capable of handling uh, the fact that we'll have uh, multiple reactors around the country sitting on wharves, sitting on hard stands. Uh, we ha where the current regulator, which is uh, PANZA, uh, is, is used to dealing with one reactor in Sydney and, and of course, low-level radiation around the country in respect of uh, typically medical uh, support. So there's mm. a whole range of things that we need to be doing. Uh, it, it might not be a case of... Uh, when we can get our first boat, it's, it's, it may, may well be that we simply are not ready uh, to receive them from the Australian end.